Hey guys, this is Silver Pro back again. And we are here to talk about gold and Bitcoin. A big regret. <laughs> well, not so much of a regret now, but a, a big regret when Bitcoin first came out. <laughs> so, hope all you guys are having a good day, a good night, wherever you are. If you're new to this channel, please leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And um, yeah, we're talking about gold, guys. So, I don't have a lot of gold, guys. This is This is most of my gold um you know stupid me didn't buy enough of it when it was 400 dollars an ounce when i was younger now it's freaking like what two two thousand six it was two thousand six hundred and eighty today i think it is guys or something like that's probably gone up to like two thousand seven hundred no my luck but anyway guys so yeah gold um you, you know you know what you know what actually this is an off topic guys this is off topic you know the funny thing is when we've got a lot of silver and we've got a bit of gold, we always want the prices to skyrocket as stackers, right? We always want the prices to skyrocket so we can cash in. But then when it does skyrocket, we're always sitting there thinking, damn, why didn't I buy more gold or silver? We're always kicking ourselves, man. It's like we contradict ourselves constantly. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do that. I like, And the thing is, like, I had a ton of silver. And then I sold a lot of it because I wanted to buy a little bit of gold and I wanted to buy other things. Like, I wanted to you know, do other stuff, you know, and I was like, oh man, silver's just, and you know, I've been a stacker of silver for years, but I was thinking like, oh, silver's doing the same thing as it always does, you know, it's just going to sit there and it's going to go up $2 and then it's going to go back down $2, it's going to go up $2, go back down, it's just going to do the same song and dance as it always does, you know, and like, I'm a bit of an impatient guy, like I, I know silver's not going to go up in a day, you know, or a month or whatever, but I just, oh, man, I just, silver just, stays at a price for so long like i mean in 2018 right it was it was around 20 i think it was 25 dollars 26 dollars an ounce something like that um and it had been like that for for a long time i think i think it was i mean i'm, I'm not exactly sure but i'm pretty sure it was at 26 or 27 dollars an ounce an ounce for years and years and years um and you know funny thing is guys is that I bought a bunch of 2018 Wedgetail Eagles from uh, Perth Bullion for $27.10 each, right? Can you imagine that? $27.10 each a coin. Now, if you're to buy an Eagle, when it comes out, you're paying $42 to $44 a coin. Could you imagine if I just went and like bought a couple of hundred Eagles? Man, I wish I, I wish I, I wish I was a psychic, guys. I wish I was a fortune teller or something. Because, um, man, I would have loaded up on silver. <laughs> but... Yeah, uh, gold, guys. So, what do you guys think is going to happen, man? If you were to ask me, I reckon it's going to go up a little bit because of this war. And silver's going to go up a little bit because of this war. But then I think when things settle down, I think they'll both go back down just a tiny bit. I don't think they'll they'll go back down to like, you know, $32 an ounce or $30 an ounce. But I think they'll... I think, you know, I think silver will probably go back to 33 an ounce or something. And gold will probably go back to like maybe 2600 an ounce or 2500 an ounce i mean that's i'm not an expert on this but i'm just i'm just guessing you know unless some unless some massive event happens where the half the world gets blown up by a nuke then maybe gold will you know go up but i don't know i just i you know i just i want to believe that gold and silver will go right up and we'll all be rich one day you know and and I, and I think it will go up one day. Like I think in like maybe 10 or 20 years time, you know, gold might be $5,000 an ounce or might be $10,000 an ounce, who knows. But I, I just don't think that time is now, you know. And um, I'm kicking myself now because silver's finally going up. Sold a lot of my silver to do other shit. Mind you, I made a profit on it. So I didn't, you know me, I won't sell my silver unless I make a profit. But... Um, Sold a lot of my silver to put into a little bit of gold. Like, you know, I bought like two 10, 10 gram bars of gold. And um, and the rest, I just bought other stuff. Like other furniture and stuff. Because my partner wanted some furniture. So, you know, I would have rather bought silver or more different coins. But she wanted she wanted furniture. So, I guess the furniture is a brilliant investment. <coughs> Not. But anyway. Um, so, I don't know, guys. I... I, I 
you, you know, I know there's a war and there's a coronavirus and stuff and, you know, fuel's going up and everything, you know, there's uh, inflation. But I just, I can't see gold going up to five and $10,000 an ounce, you know, within the next year or two. Like maybe in five, 10 years, maybe, you know, and then the same with silver. Like I can't see silver hitting, I can see silver maybe hitting $40, maybe $45 an ounce in the next year. Like, because it seems to be like going up more and, but uh, I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm just guessing, guys. I'm just guessing. I'm not an expert, but anyway. So this is my little gold collection, right? So we got two, ten, two tens of five and a, uh, the gold platypus that I showed you guys in, my, in one of my other videos. Now, the thing is, why I don't, why I don't, I don't know what it is, but I don't buy a lot of gold because I panic when I buy gold. Because I think, oh my God, I've outlaid thousands of dollars on these little tiny pieces of metal and and you know if something goes wrong with gold then I'm out thousands and thousands of dollars right whereas if I buy silver I don't have that same mentality and I think it's because silver is a lot cheaper you get so much more silver for your money um, I just feel a lot safer with silver I really don't know what it is you know because if you ask some some precious metal guys they usually say oh I think gold's a better investment but I don't know. I always just, you know what it is. I think it's that, I think it's that with like if you buy gold, right? I find if you buy gold, a lot of the time you cannot get very much of a profit on it if you want to resell it, right? You maybe you you get what you paid for it back, or maybe like I don't know. Like let let's say I bought this. Uh, is this a five grand bar? I think that's a five grand bar. Let's say I bought this five grand bar, right? Now, if I was to sell this now with the war that's going on, I'd say like 520 bucks or something like that, right? Even though it's not worth 520 bucks. That's what, that's what I'm willing to sell it for to feel, to feel comfortable, you know? And I'm not selling any of my gold because we don't know where it's going, guys. But that's what I'm selling it for to feel comfortable, right? And, you know, I could get that. I, I, I don't have any doubt I could get that because I've done that before, like years ago with gold. I've sold it for like 60 bucks, 70 bucks over and I eventually got it. But I don't, um, and you know, even the guy said to me, he says, I'm not, I know I'm paying more for it, but there's just not much around or I can't remember what the excuse was, but anyway. But, but like with gold, you kind of, I feel like if you go to sell a gold bar or whatever, it's it's like you can't really make much of a profit on it, you know? Like people say, oh, well, it's this much at the Perth Mint or it's this much at Bullion Dealers. And so you don't really have that kind of, um, that benefit where you, which you do with silver. Like, you know, if I if I buy a, a Canadian maple for $43, I can sell it for $46, $47 really fucking easy. Like, sorry, guys, for, for my swearing, but really, really easy. Like, like you know, I could... I could put it on freaking, uh, you know, uh, Gumtree or Marketplace and sell it within one second, you know? Um, because some people, like, they think, oh, well, hmm, am I going to travel all the way to a bullion dealer and spend $10, $15 on fuel? Or am I going to just travel to someone who's selling it privately and spend, you know, five bucks over or, or four bucks over, you know? And that, you know, and, and the convenience factor too. Like that is the mindset of a lot of people, guys. I've told you this before, convenience. Like some people will, and I think all us stackers know this. We all know this, that some people would rather travel to you to buy some silver if you want to sell it than to a bullion dealer where they've got to spend $10, $15. Because we don't have, there's not many bullion dealers around, guys. Like, you know, Sydney, Melbourne, there's, there's not a lot of them, you know. And um, if you want to sell your coins, and you don't want to sell them back to a, a bullion dealer because you're only going to get spot or you're going to get minus 20% of the Perth Mint. Well, of course you're going to sell them privately. It's the only logical thing to do. Why would you go to a mint or a bullion dealer? And look, I support my bullion dealers, right? I buy most of my bullion from bullion dealers because if I, like uh, Swan Bullion, I buy a lot of my stuff from, right? Because I know if I don't support Swan Bullion, then they don't have the money to get more coins in. So I tell everyone to support Swan Bullion or to support who is in Perth or wherever you are, support your local coin dealer. Because without them, we can't get more exotic, you know, nice looking cool coins, you know. So you have to support them. You have to, you know. Um, but saying that, some people don't want to travel, man. Like me, if I have to travel to Swan Bullion, I'm traveling 60Ks to Swan Bullion, man. 
I'm nowhere near them. And if someone sells like a coin for a, a few dollars over um, in Marketplace or Gumtree, I'll most likely go to those people if they're like 10Ks away or something like that. I'll just, just go to them and say, I'll stuff it. You know, I can't be bothered spending all that time to go there, then all the way back and then petrol and everything else or, you, you know, um, yeah. I mean, if, granted, if I'm buying like 10 coins or 20 coins, yeah, I'll go with Swan Bullion or I'll go with whatever. Like if I'm buying 40 coins or they've got something new in, I'll stack a bunch of them, you know, like I've spent thousands and thousands at Swan Bullion. Um, but yeah, but if I, if I, if I need to get something, you know, and I don't want to travel, you know, most people take the convenient route, you know, most people will just, you know, meet someone privately and buy it, buy it privately. And why wouldn't you, if you wanted to save on fuel, if you wanted to save your time, you know, to, like guys, a good example of this, right, is, um, with my partner, right, it was a stormy night, and my partner wanted a pizza, right, and no, she's, she's, she's not a whale, all right, she's a um, very petite girl, very skinny, um, you know, because when you see, when you say, I don't know, when I think of a girl wanting a pizza, I naturally think, oh, she just eats junk food all day, and, you know, you, know, you get this, this picture in your head, right, um, but, I so it was a really stormy night, and I said, "Look, let's just get it delivered." And she goes, "No, it's five dollars extra. Why don't we save the money and, and drive there?" And see, if we drove there, it'd be fifteen minutes to drive there, right? No, actually, it would have been twelve minutes to drive there, twelve minutes back. Okay, and not it, it's not the petrol factor that I was caring about, right? It wasn't the petrol factor that I was caring about, but it was the factor that we only spent a few days a week together, right? So it's the factor that I valued our time together. I valued uh, less risk involved. It's a stormy night, right? You go out there in a car. Now everyone's going to think, oh, we, you catastroph- you're catastrophizing Silver Pro. And I'm not, right? If, if, if I go out there in a car, right, and we're the one in a million car that gets hit by another car, we're in a crash, right? Then, you know, our lives are ruined. Like things are... Things go from good to bad, you know, and it's a stormy night, and I, I you know, I, I just, I just valued, I paid the extra five or six bucks because I valued convenience. I valued having that extra time with my partner. I valued not having to ta- take a drive out in the rain and risk our lives, even if it was the smallest, most minute risk on the face of the earth. I valued that, right? And I also valued not having to spend the fuel, right? And you know, I, I valued the time we had together, like that that 20 minutes or whatever that we had to wait, that we would have spent driving, we had that time together watching like TV together and, and stuff like that. And, you know, I um I really love my partner that I've got now, guys, you know, she's uh, she just is the, the best person I could, I could ever ask for, you know, very caring, kind and nice and uh, looks after me, you know, and um you know, so I don't really, I don't, I don't catastrophize things, but I just, I just value time because time is precious, right? You can get back money, guys. You can get back money, but you cannot get back time, right? And um, that's what I find if you if you're selling a few coins on marketplace, guys. Um, I don't sell many coins unless I'm unless I'm selling a coin to get something else, to get another silver coin or something, you know, like. Most of the time what happens to me is, right, I'll buy a stack of coins from Swan Bullion because I think that I want a bunch of them in case they go out of stock and then I have to try order them from America, right? And you guys know how much of a pain in the ass it is to order things from America. Then you've got to pay the the duty fees and everything like that. So most of the time if I buy something, like I'll buy a stack of coins from Swan Bullion because I don't want to get caught out and go, oh, I wish I bought more. You know, you always have that regret. Like there's certain coins that, that you wish you bought more of, right? Um, and I'm that type of guy that buys some coins and then I go, oh, fuck, why didn't I buy another 10 of those coins, you know? Um, so most of the time I'll buy a stack of coins from Swan Bullion. I'll just like, and guys, don't think I'm like, I work for Swan Bullion or anything like that, right? I, I know it must get annoying that I'm mentioning one dealer because there'll be a lot of people who will like Bullion Now or they'll like ABC or they'll like other dealers and they're all good dealers. I like all them dealers, right? Bullion now takes a little bit of time to get their stuff shipped to me, which annoys me. But apart from that, 
they seem like pretty good guys. They're funny to watch on YouTube. Um, you know, so, but most of the time I'll buy a stack of coins from Swan Bullion, right? And then I will, uh, then another coin will freaking come out and I'll be like, oh shit, you know? And I'll be, I'll be broke because I would have spent that money on bills or or something else and be like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta flip these coins fast. I gotta get that coin before it sells out, you know? So I'll panic and I'll be like, oh shit. Put, put some coins on, flip them, and then I'll order the, the next coin, you know? And it just, it's like a never ending cycle for us stackers, you know? We just, we get something cool and then something else cool comes out and, and we're like, it's like, God damn it, you know? Unless you're a millionaire, you know? Like, but I'm like, poor guys, so. But yeah, um, so that's the conundrum we face as stackers, guys. But do I feel like gold's gonna go crazy to the moon, you know? I mean, it, w it would be cool, but then at the same time, it would be really bad for us stackers because we probably won't be able to freaking afford to buy anymore. If, if gold goes to $10,000 an ounce, we'll all be sitting there going, oh man, is this going to stay at $10,000 an ounce? Because I paid 2500 or 2600 an ounce and now I've got to pay 10000 for this mother? And then you'll be sitting there as stackers going, oh man, I'm just going to wait. You know, I'm just going to wait till it comes back down. And then what if it doesn't come back down, guys? What if it doesn't come back down and it goes up and it goes to 15,000 and then whatever. And then you're sitting there going, oh man, what have, what have we got ourselves into? So there's going to there's gonna be one day, guys, with all us stackers where gold and silver go up so high that we can no longer afford it. And we're probably out of our hobby, you know, or, or who, who knows, man, a majority of us will be out of the hobby. Um, and I'm hoping that day doesn't happen, but I do hope gold and silver go up to a sizable amount. As long as I've got a truckload of silver, which I don't have now, I have hardly any silver. So I'm really kicking myself. Um, but I do have some more on the way. Anyway, guys, I hope this video wasn't too long. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I got to keep these things to 10 minutes, man. Otherwise they take way too long to process and stuff. So my next video, I'll try to keep to 10 minutes. All right, guys. Hope you guys have a good day or good night, wherever you are. Leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate you all, the 24 subscribers that we're up to now. And uh, when we get to that 300, baby, it's uh, the giveaway. All right, take care.